This is Destiny Matters. Every man is born for a particular purpose, and it's God's pleasure to help you become it. Welcome to Destiny Matters. And now, your host, author, pastor, and speaker, Charles Casivante. Hello, this is Destiny Matters. Thank you for joining in today. God bless you. From last week, we talked about spiritual fatherhood, the benefits of a spiritual father in your life. And today we continue on the same topic and we'll be discussing further. Is it even compulsory to have a spiritual father? So, Mbani is a man who 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 is a man uh, kusabida ntu lwalero mwabali kula last week mwai kebi ntu binji mwakama ya agenda kubikulida tata uomo ya fana natia ya ani wazari wa umomoyo of course okongelo kongela kusongezo uh, lero tukomeza okuset again mkazi wakatonda pastor karobu yego mwalimu nyomba lafe <laughs> abata mwamanyi asumba ministry director and sharpens iron Everyone who come like Bombo Road, Buddha House. Yeah, both in Akadechiara, yo. I'm coming up with my son. Sumba. Sanyi so cool, Abba. Kalesu. last week, why nebi wuzo. Of course, why you ganyo, by the way. Amen. Uh, Lord. Tremendous, wow. overwhelming feedback. Amen. The people were really blessed by Amen. what was what we talked about. Wow. And um, I, I feel, I felt more and more that the, the subject is really of, of important uh, of a high degree of importance that we need to attach to it. That's true. Because That's true. probably God has a reason why he puts fathers yeah. in place. Yeah, true. And uh, can we minimize or limit our blessing by not understanding our fatherhood? Mm. Yeah, I, I feel like many ministers and people, even in other career paths, mm. if you don't understand who your father is and if you don't even have a father anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, think, I think for me, a lot of people needed to get a little bit of education in that area. But we shall be talking more today on, on set with Pastor Caro, breaking down this bread. Amen. I want to remind you of a 20K project. You can be a blessing to House of Inspiration by simply giving that little money, 20,000 and above, that we put in a box and we are gathering money for that magnificent building structure that you see on the screen. That thing shall be built by God. God is going to help us with your support and with the hand of God. I want you to reach out now. There are numbers that are appearing on the screen right now. Those two numbers on Airtel and MTN, send in your seed and say, Pastor, I want to be a part of that project. I, I love the cinematas. I love what you do in the ministry. And I want to support you. You don't need to wait for millions. That little seed you send right now can make a tremendous difference. Be a part of this building project. I will, I, I'll be glad. Uh, some of you did it last week. Thank you. Certain numbers have come through. The Lord bless you. Uh, your money has already been put in the box. And uh, we're going to be counting at the end of the year to see what we can do so we can lay our foundation and start on that building project. We're building for the kingdom of God. What we are doing is going to live longer than us. Be a part of it. Let us establish something in our, in our generation that God will look up to and say, that generation built me a house. And uh, so you are my partner when you stand with me. And God will bless you mightily. I also have some few events coming up, like a marriage retreat, destined to cleave. It's going to be a 2 days event. In fact, one night and two days, uh, we're going to spend time there. Uh, the payment is 500000 I want you to look at the information from the announcer. And when we come back from that break, we're going to be talking more about the spiritual fatherhood here on Destiny Matters. Praise the Lord, people of God. My name is Pastor Kenneth here at House of Inspiration Church and with my wife. Sharon Baguma is my name. We bless the Lord for you. We are here simply to welcome you to Destiny Matters Marriage Retreat. It's going to be at Buloba Forest Park. It's a very beautiful place. Uh, we can't wait to have you and enjoy with you. Of course, we shall have so many facilitators. Our senior pastor, Charles Casbante, is going to be there. Theme is Destined to cleave. Fee is 500,000. 
per couple. Bring your wife, bring your husband. Let's celebrate together as we learn more about love. For registration, numbers on the screen. May the Lord bless you. We love you. I can't wait to see you there. I believe that you are ready with your books and notebooks somewhere or your iPads or your notepads in your phone just to note a couple of things. Sumba, should we begin with the questions from last week or you have something laid up in your heart? Because last week we mentioned a few roles of fathers. Yes. And just to, and just to recap, we talked about covering. Yes. A father gives you a covering. Yes. Uh, if a father will, will always be your protection. Yes. And then you said he will be your address. Yes. I think that was very, very powerful. Glory to God. That is your yes. first address. It's your first address. Yes. What are the other roles of fathers? Um... It's amazing. You know, um, fathers, uh, it's something that I've been pondering about. Yeah. I've come to learn that fathers usher you into, onto the scene, yeah, yeah, into yeah, 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 destiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, God uses fathers so powerfully to yeah. usher us yeah. to what he has predestined us to become. Yeah. If you look at the life of Elisha, Elisha was ushered onto the scene by a father, by his father. And, and you know, on one of those days when Elijah is about to go, Second Kings chapter 2, and Elijah tells him, stay here. And they go past, past, past Bethel, past Gilgal, past Jericho, and they reach Jordan, and they, and they separate. And the scripture says that Elijah reached a place and turned to Elisha. And Elisha told him, I want a double portion of your spirit. And Elijah told him, you have asked a hard thing. But he said, but except if you see me go, you will get it. And you know, but not just that, not just at that moment, but you remember way before Elisha was a man, was a farmer. Um, I know. You know? I, yeah. And the Lord spoke to Elijah and told him, go to this place and you will find a man like this. And that's the funny thing is yes. that uh, you look at the life of Elisha, never been in pursuing of ministry. Nothing. Never his desire. Nothing. Is a is a rich man, by the way, mm -hmm. with a lot of flock, mm -hmm. uh, had and and, and 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 cattle. And a rich man's son. And a rich man's son. Yes. Because because his father shepherd. Yes. Was a famous man. Yes. He was known. He was known. Yes, but then uh, Elisha is the entrance of Elisha to uh, the the coming in of Elijah to meet Elisha spirals him into the level of ministry. Exactly. Yeah. Which, if Elijah had not met Elisha, he would probably die a farmer. Yeah. That is why when he's, when he's being ruptured, he calls him my father, my father. My father, my father. Yeah. And, 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 and just that, you know, when Elijah the first time went to Elisha, he threw on him his cloak. And that just was to show him the direction, yeah. the next direction of his life. And from henceforth, Elisha begins to follow Elijah and walk with Elijah. But nonetheless, Elijah now has reached a time where he knows it's time for me to go. But, but, it, but it looks like in those days, this concept was not as hard as ours. Because I, I remember they, they, they were even calling out sons of prophets. Oh, yes. Abana Baba Nabi. Abana Baba Nabi. Shake his no techali chizibu nyo, ngawe chizimu naku zafe. We are quite independent. So, so, so this notion of father, what's yeah. the importance? Do you know, Musuma, there are people who say that it is not scripture yeah. to have fathers. To have fathers. Last week, we, we saw from 1 Corinthians 14. Exactly. Paul says, you have many instructors and guardians in the gospel, and, but, but not many fathers. Not many but fathers. I begot you. But I begot you in the gospel. In the gospel. What is fatherhood is in the Bible? It is scripture. And also looking from the Old Testament, yeah. these men 
had fathers. Yeah. They didn't just appear. Each one had a father. Yeah. At least someone who they looked up to. Someone who made them. Yeah. Someone who God used to lift them. That's right. That, so the idea of ushering, a lot of people have great anointings, but don't realize that they need a man. To usher them. Can you imagine Jesus Christ in all his magnificence and power? That is where I was going. Needed John the Baptist. Needed John to usher him onto yeah. the scene. Otherwise, I mean, God in his power would have said, Jesus, on this day and this day, go and start ministry. Yeah. Yeah. What day? I'm after guy. I mean, the anointing itself. Yeah. The Bible says he is the Christ. So, and Christ means the anointing and his anointed one. So, so I mean, Jesus was anointing itself. Yeah. Let's see what the Rachi Mokama Linda, Kuchutu Chayokan, Kuabela Fukida Yesu Mafuta, Fukida Yesu Mafuta, Omok Omoi Wakida, Rachi again and Amos Sinkana somewhere. Nanga Gendo Tandiki. And the Tata Gayokana, Kwanga Yokana, definitely at some point you're going to Omos Sing. Omos Sing. And, 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 and those are the things we need to understand that you can never be ushered mm. into destiny into what God called you to be mm. without a father. You yeah. don't wake up and you usher yourself. Somebody must usher you onto yeah. the scene. Do you know, Musum, I think our biggest problem in the body of Christ is submission. Yes. About what I want to know. Or in fact, <laughs> it's not only for church. Everywhere. It's, it's for marriages. Yes. Kwanga Osanga to know about the moment you look at your husband as an ordinary as person, an ordinary man, and you you cannot submit to them mm. in certain in certain ways as mm. Christ requires, mm. it's difficult to operate that, that marriage. Definitely. But in ministry, Definitely. really, I, I sometimes ask myself a question: What is so important about you that you cannot submit to somebody else? <laughs> Gifting, talent. And you know, it comes when, when someone appears to be more gifted than their pastor. You know, that, that is why yeah. Jesus is such an icon for us. Kumanga yeah. Yesu, in all his power, in all the glory, I mean, look at Jesus. I mean, he's Lord over John. My God. For crying out loud. Exactly. You are Lord over John, the Baptist, you know. But you come and choose to come under that covering uh, of John. Uh, and, and even John is scared of uh, John baptizing is, I mean, him. Yes. Agama, he said, I'm not worthy to uh, even untie the, the latchet of your shoe. Exactly. But Jesus says, I have to. To fulfill all righteousness. So, so for me, that shows me that, that your pastor that, or your father or the person God has put over you, you can actually be more powerful than them. And I think that's the will of God. Yes. The will of God is that we may be... Tell your tata to see what we did. Azala mwana, nayagalo mwana wasilani. Uh-uh. Desire your tata mwomoyo, uwa uomu wili. Ntuo mwana amusinge. Amusinge. Akulebia, akulebia, nubia ata kuse. That's the thing. Limitations are to have a single bungi. Challenges are fe. Nti bola bantu nti oyunzo kusinga tata o. Where we look o kumuka kanila. Kumuka kanila. Which is which is not in order. Exactly. You know. And 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 ideally the point is you you have to be better than me. The yeah. same thing Jesus said that I mean the works that I do even greater works yeah. you will do. Yeah. The whole point is. What I do, I want you to multiply it. I mean, look at El Elisha and Elijah. And Elijah. Elisha, Elijah is very powerful. Oh, yes. But Elisha amazes you. Yeah. In fact, when you count the documented miracles yes. of Elijah. The, they are double. They are double. Yes. This one had double. eight. This one has 16. Exactly. To the point that even the bones of Elisha would resonate a dead Was man. still anointed. So, <laughs> so God, I think, the idea that you're bigger than your father does not... Make him not your father. No. Does not reduce the fact that he's your father. 
regardless of what you achieve regardless of what you attain yeah. regardless of how much money you have on your account your father is still your father yeah. i always have this notion in me that you can never outgrow your father yeah regardless of how big you become regardless of how far you go you never outgrow him yeah. you never reach a place and say now nah, i'm too big Yeah. I don't need him anymore. Now now, you know, now I'm independent. I don't need him anymore. He is still your father. Yeah. And I, and and for me, I think that is what is very crucial for any person that whom to whom destiny matters. Yeah. If you know that your destiny matters to you, you need a father. Unless destiny doesn't matter. I, And and I think Musumba, that makes a very very important submission. Uh, you need somebody in your life that you are submitted to, that when you when you are in their presence, yes, you can force heaven to speak. Exactly. Because oh. because w- when Jesus goes to John's altar, yes, the heavens open. Oh yes. In other words, about man, you know, operating under a certain level of close heavens without notion. Without notion. Because there is no level of submission. Naibu yeah. took John John's yeah. altar the yeah. heavens open the heavens open and and then God as you say introduces speaks. you introduces now. you this is my son okwanjureli abantu okuwa that power of recommendation where target at omoyo exactly chikuru nyo exactly those amagenda kana abantu abantu basinga baga botinze oba baga limitinze kubanga tibategge dent no submission is part of it and 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 and, and there are things a gift is not enough to usher you onto the scene anointing is not enough yeah. to usher you onto the scene you must have what they call a platform upon which heaven looks my upon god, my god and says this yeah. is the platform upon which this person shall be ushered into destiny yeah so so Yes, yes, yes you're gifted, yes you're anointed, yes you're powerful, yes you have more revelation than than yeah. your father. My cat this generation believes in revelation. So, right. yeah. so so you have more you have deeper revelation than your father. Regardless of all that, wait a platform. But how do you even test the depth? Anya in a depth meter. <laughs> what we are doing now and especially here those who are interested in going further yes i think just like you build a house yes but what and go to the nyumba ya kalina one webera ya kalina the first thing is not to begin going up no usually foundation you lay foundation yes and i think for me that is very key the, the idea of submission to a father gives you a certain level of longevity when you're ushered into into spaces look look at Mordecai and Esther yeah i mean Mordecai Esther is chosen to become to become you know the queen. queen yeah and 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 Esther's longevity in that place yeah yeah was dependent on the wisdom that came from Mordecai and you know Esther yadialo woza my destiny is to become a queen and yet a father had a different perspective yeah yeah a father saw it through the eyes of god mm. and Mordecai as a father saw that Esther queen is just platform for you mm. your destiny is to be a deliverer to the nation of israel, of israel at this time at this time yeah namgamba Don't you know that you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this? That means yeah. that Esther we are to come mugundi in the palace ya tereda. I have servants with me. I mean I ride in this kind of car and everything is good. Ne yeda bila java. Ne yeda bila mandate. And it took her father yeah. to come and redirect her to yeah. the path of destiny. So regardless of whether where Esther had reached ndikatwali yaterera ebintu byaterera but regardless yeah. of where she was she still needed Mordecai to come and point her 
point her into the right direction into the right and, direction and so we're talking about ushering fathers ushering us uh, i think one of the examples in scripture is the, the time when david is is dying oh yeah i mean that, uh, for, that was a crazy time my god there was a crazy time and with absalom only david knows who god is anointing for the season yeah and honestly speaking no matter who's on david's side no matter who's on the sides of the princes yes. that want to assume the throne yes the only one who will get the throne is the one who the father and, is on the side and the father you remember yeah. what david got he got his scepter my god and he handed it over to solomon yes that was very powerful yeah. a scepter was a transfer of authority mm, mm. Now, i have given you the authority so until that scepter was in the hands of someone you yeah. could not be king and and yet moreover regardless of how they anoint you ojukira ne absalom bamfunira bamuyiwa ka mafta they even sang for him that absalom is king My. even adonija the adonija is king they sang for them they sang for them but until the father ushered in fact it is who the father ushered into the altar yes. into into the throne yes. the rain the rain because it is spiritual yes. and can you imagine this this the one that they ushered to rule was younger than all of them younger than and inexperienced inexperienced because this boy grew up in the palace even to be a baton at abite gate yeah 13 years old 13 years but because My. the father ya chikuba mustamp that was it that was it that, that was the power of solomon and and uh, speaking of 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 you know fathers and You, you know my my one time my spiritual father joked around and said those are spiritual uncles yeah but but, but for me it, it i kind of thought about it after ne ne chiro was am ngamba ochimanya ntino ne moyo twina yo ba spiritual uncle ne ba spiritual father in it or you know <laughs> ju- just to, you know that's a joke but but you see these people organize a priest yeah to anoint adonija Exactly. Then the mummy will come after. Magamba, you no kabaka. Can you imagine men like like Absalom? Absalom took took the best of David's men, like Ahithophel. Yes. The greatest advisor. Oh yes. That when he advises, it's a God has spoken. But still, ah, it is Solomon who gets the throne because the father's hand yeah. was upon yeah. him. Yeah. And that is very very important a father yeah. will usher you onto the scene yeah. you who is mindful of your destiny unless you don't mind about your destiny yeah. you know also the, there are people who don't care where they go in life they don't care about what god called them or predestined them to be but as long as you mind about your destiny you need to know that a father is not cannot be put out of the picture Yeah. yeah. A father cannot be out of the picture. I, I feel like that answers the question is a father compulsory. <laughs> Somebody in your life has to usher you. Somebody. Tell you never usher yourself. Olaba ni Yesu ya ine amwasharinga. Ya muyingiza mu chintu. No, pastor look at look at Paul. Yeah. Paul has an encounter. Exactly. With on Jesus. his way to Damascus. Yeah. I mean, he hears the voice of the Lord himself. That means no one told Paul how to hear God. Ya ya mudida. Ugwasoka. The first time he had the voice of Jesus. Yeah. And even said, "Lord, who are you?" He said, "So, so, why why dost thou persecute me?" Yeah. And, and 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 that is very important. But Jesus after all this tells him, "You go. Go to Ananias. Go to Ananias." Yeah. And the Jesus goes to Ananias, speaks to Ananias and says, go to this house you will find Saul yeah and you will lay your hands upon him there's a man in Joppa is now blind <laughs> and and you see that's interesting so Jesus comes uh meets Paul Paul becomes blind yeah the scales still stay on the eyes on for 3 days for three days he's not eaten he's not he's not done anything and he's praying and he's praying first day of encounter is hmm. in prayer hmm. <laughs> but then God doesn't speak to Paul. No. It says Ananias. Ananias. And yes, it is Ananias who, who held Paul's hand who held and Paul. introduced him to Jerusalem. To Jerusalem. Because actually Paul says in I think in Acts Acts 15, 
It says when I was encountered, yes, I did not go to any of the apostles, to any of the apostles, yeah, except except unto Peter and at to some Peter. point, exactly. But he was introduced by Ananias to the to, to the, the disciples, to the, disciples. To the other disciples, because he was known as a murderer. Yes, somebody had to introduce him. Had to introduce him. Otherwise, yeah. you'd have gone and say, "Oh, I had an encounter with the Lord." The same God who right. spoke from the heaven yes. threw him off his donkey. I mean, the Lord has all that power. But God used a man. Another man. Go to Joppa and lay hands on this man. Yeah. So if and God understands protocol, God understands protocol. Otherwise, Paul, he had it and he saw the is. Immediately. Immediately. Oh yes, oh yeah. yes. Now now it encounter ministries and he yeah. had an encounter with the yeah. Lord. So regardless of how many encounters you have, regardless of how many supernatural experiences, experiences you get and you sleep in heaven and you see the Lord and you see angels descending and ascending, regardless, you need someone. Yeah. I to was usher a, you. I think there's an issue Omuntu um, mato wana ni issue ya spiritual fatherhood. Uh, Okuda muku no, no kumu ya amba. Number one, ka, uh, nga, bu, nga buwa zari wa omuntu mm. um, omulala um, na wogenda kuzari. That's right. Ina mato wa singa, they discover spiritual fatherhood. Okay. When they have started. They discover fatherhood when they have given birth. Omuntu, um, Nibo banga nga tata uya kusula u. Eh. Bumalo kuzalo umuana. Uchizula mm. nti tata yali mukulu. Yali mukulu. Because now you're on the other side of the plate. Now you are the father. Now you are the father. Now you know what you're telling your son and they exactly. can't hear. Exactly. Or your daughter and they can't hear. Yo jukira munga na waine putu. Aha. Ate muna nge nsigo zinozewo nje. Sanga woji siga. Mwekujira. Ate ulumu. Nge sukundu. Yes. Nge katidua. <laughs> nge yamu yika. <laughs> ne, ne kujira mchifuwa cho Kwa hitu weja kuwanga Nsiko za chusi ganga tulibe, tulibe oh, liyaz Eri haba tuzala momu oyo uh, Siku lima na kubwechikendo kubela Chitufu And I liked the other day I was at, at Pastor Wilson Bugembe's event mm. It was his birthday And he said something very very powerful Almost everyone he has begun with They began with ministry 20 something years ago yeah. Almost everyone they are still together wow. They began in school wow. Now the twin Herbert The who who they are all the same age. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Same age almost. Mm. They are all in school. Mm. But the moment Pastor Wilson was anointed, it's age mates. Yeah. The moment he was anointed above them. Yes. To pastor them. Yes. They all submitted. Submitted. It's age mate, oh, And goodness. they called him their, their father. Exactly. Even on that day. Yes. I had to speak speaking and says, Tata Wang. Yes. Justin Tata Wang. Yes. yes. So it is very, very impossible. So, so, pastor, that means being yeah. able to be a spiritual father. Sibia miyaka. Sia. Si miyaka, tina kusingu bukuli ya kusala. Ntia ine miyaka atano, nine miyaka abidi muetano. So, this one is my father. Zento gamba pensuma mchachu, wanote mamu wa nsinga no bukulu. Nenzi tata wawe. It's very possible. Yes. It's very possible. So, so, so it doesn't matter the age. But, but as for ushering you onto the scene. Yeah. I know everyone watching us, watching Destiny Matters. The reason you're watching Destiny Matters is because you have a destiny. Yeah. And God is taking you somewhere. My God. And I believe that you are mindful about that destiny. And if you are watching us and you do not have a father, that is a prayer point for you. That you, it's time for you to go and seek God for him to direct you to who your father is. Is. But I even have a question yes, as sir. we go to break. Think about it. So, why don't you have a father again? Like, why don't you have a father? Who, who, who begat you in the gospel? You just didn't show up. I have. You know? I have. You know? You know? You know? We Amen. enjoy Destiny Matters. Glory to God. Stay tuned for more when we come back. This is Destiny Matters. Every man is born for a particular purpose, and it's God's pleasure to help you become it. 
Welcome to Destiny Matters. And now your host, author, pastor and speaker, Charles Casivante. Ya mukulikeyo banange. Uh, audience eri wantu baniliza mwe bale kubela mu Destiny Matters. Um, msumba ebibuzo biwadi wano ngabi satu ekisoka from last week yes tato wo moyo bwafa mm. kolanja am i special orphan oli oli watu oli awani sanaka ma other special orphans um. e eh, na ye a uh, food day kati nkolanja nkolanja yeah wow i believe that go it's not god's desire that we that they are spiritual orphans Yeah. I mean, one, the anointing is transferable always. Yeah. That God never leaves a gap in the spirit. So 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 whenever a man goes, someone has to take up the place of the man. Yeah. And so you who you know, wh- you who is saying my father, what if my father dies? Look around who has God put in that place of your father. Ndim kama gwata dem chifo cha tata wo. As you seek God that it's important for you to know is this the one that God has placed. But yeah. God sh- can never leave you hanging. Cho ino kumanya. That is at least what I know that God can't leave anyone hanging. Hanging. So he will show you someone he will definitely show you someone and also to show you that there must never be a spiritual vacuum yeah that 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 when a man goes someone takes up that man's place okay. someone takes up the mantle yeah let's say you know the pastor a pastor of a church goes to glory that god will not leave that church hanging even jesus said something he said when he was about to go he said i will not, not leave, leave you, you yeah. as orphans yeah i will not leave you as orphans yeah but when i go i shall send the comforter yeah i shall send ne yesu he could not leave his disciples hanging yeah, yeah. so yeah. this bit this business of I'm a spiritual orphan does not exist Yeah. That God cannot yeah. leave you hanging. That if your father goes, that God has someone else in yeah. place of that person. Yeah, and also, and also for me I think is asking the Holy Spirit for direction. Exactly. In addition, katonda omubuza kati mukama mbadde manyidde ku submitting awo omuntu ono na ye kozentia. Kozentia. Dagirira. Yeah, so exactly. I hope the person who has that question you have been answered. Yeah. Question and 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 like we said pastor last yeah. week that these things of of spiritual fathers it's important to seek God and to be led by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So the same way if your father goes to glory let the Holy Spirit lead you. Exactly. To the next person. But you need to know that the principle of fatherhood remains. So don't leave the vacuum. Yes. Get the covering. Get yes. where you submit and yes. get you know that in in your life. Now Um I know that many of you have got questions there's a number on the screen uh, it takes your questions or you use that email address or go to our messenger on Facebook and text or you can uh you know whatever it is you you, you, you can tweet on destiny matters amen you can write we shall answer you during the week and also maybe on the show in the coming weeks but second question pastor yes sir ndimo kanisa mm eh uh, umsajja mpasiza mm. bali nitata wangu omwo yo mm. when submitting mm. kati ngenze mukanise ya mwami wange yes. kwanga nino mugoberera mm. tata womwo yo mm. ono achuka ne nembera no wa mwami wange che chibuzo wan <laughs> nti 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 ono wange the one who begat me eh. musula abuza ne adapting omulala e wa mwami wange kubanga <laughs> omwami wange kati 
tugenda wamu now now that is when the context of paul saying you 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 have you have many Guardians. tutors but you, you don't have many Father. fathers yeah and i believe that as you adapt to the father of your spouse you don't necessarily have to throw away the one who begat you yeah that you can adapt this one i mean now you have come under submission yeah. you have come under this umbrella this cover this covering yeah in as much as you come under it and you begin to submit but there's someone else who begat you you don't throw them away you don't stop listening to them because you know yeah now i have a new one yeah i believe a father will always be a father So so what do you do? I I believe that actually it's an advantage that God has added to you a father. Can we put it in practical terms? Yes. For example, I have been tithing in my church. <laughs> Now I am married to to James. Yes. We are in another ministry. Yes. James submits to his father. Yes. Do I now change my Kati msumbole se chidada echa tithe, but tithe it goes to the storehouse of God. Yeah. Where are you feed? So the question is where are you feeding? Okay. If now you're feeding from a different storehouse, yeah. then your tithe has to go to that storehouse. Kumanga ye feeding. There's a story in the Bible where a man brought a priest to his house and said be my father. And said be my father. And in, in judges and <laughs> <laughs> and uh-huh. be my priest, uh, and be my priest, and, and, and be our priest. In fact, said, "Be our priest of the tribe, yeah. and 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 our father." Yeah, yeah. Uh, that principle uh, does it apply? Like, uh, so in in this context, some people say from that portion of the Bible that you must tithe to your father, and no, no, you you give your tithe to. Your, to your, to priest, your priest to your priest to your priest yes and you give your first fruits to your father <laughs> but we can't go into that no 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 you, you, you've answered partly into your mouth only to more to more disregarding no jali no na ye katikubanga the two shall become one yes mugenze mu ewo musumba mupya yes ya basumba mu submit yes na yenga kati tetira mu conflict okubanga and submit nze wono na yenga ate Zenchali ni sata wangu omoyo. Kwanga in the natural sense. In the natural sense. But to form it was. You say bye bye daddy. Yes. Yeah. And you go and 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 you go and cleave and cleave to another. So wisdom would say know him, honor him. Yes. But, but now you are in 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 the territory. Yes. In yes, in new hands. Rosa musumba chibuza chizembulo nje ndo. In new hands. Yes. Eh but abali mu audience simanya je bali simanyi ndo za tebazi tebazi musombo obate bategedde obate bategedde anyway ekatuba vepo ekibuza cyo kubira musomba cyo kusatu cyo kusatu eh mvude Uganda nenza America Uganda na ina pasta wange karobu yego stuff Yeah. Kati ya dimfunye white. Kati mfunye brown white. Chem- uh, okay. Gole seri nyane, bale ya white tukupe ku white. Akati. Work. Ye ye busoko wangi. Na ye chibuzo chirinje. So what does now happen? Uh ono mulese. It depends. Uh. You you know all these things pasta. Tetuso abite kako formula. Yeah. But all these things at the end of the day you must be led by the spirit of God. Is okay that Rachel di America. Chiche cha kutwala. Eh. Is it a permanent shift? Has God actually changed your location permanently? Yeah. Because and and why have you gone there? Yeah. If if it is of God that he has changed your location and changed you know and all that then then if he has sent you there and planted you there then he's going to plant he's going to give you people who will w- watch over your soul over your soul mm? yeah but also even when you ask that question why are you there yes that question is uh, is in two folds why are you there are you there permanently are you there forever mm. but also 
why are you there can be answered who did god use to open that door for you yes kale bise bise nga abantu bayengira mawanga ne bela bila ababa asharinga mawanga ababa sabido bayengiza mawanga yeah oh yes so ne bela bila ne bela bila dala kati na tokeyo and then somehow they have now they're now in a, in a whole new line yeah We also have this category. Yeah. People who like for example you are on a village church. Mm. 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 Yeah. 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 Mm. But I think the principle here pastor people need to understand what a father is. Yes. Period. Uh, it, let's come back to the nature because the yeah. things in the nature will teach us spiritual things. So tata wo ne wa ba kuzala gundi e cha namukaka. Eh. Ngaje ba kuzalira ngachita chitawo jabira. Just because you came to Kampala chitawo ta I mean he doesn't stop being your father. Yeah. Asigalani tatao. Tatao. Oba wavawa, oba wavawa. You have roots. Oina Jova. So so you being in Kampala does not change your heritage. Mm. Mm. Those are things we must understand that you going to America does not change the fact that you're Ugandan. No wofuna green card msumba. Sawa zino. Doesn't change that you are a Ugandan. Yeah. Ntinomo fuka America. It will not change that there's Ugandan blood. Yeah. In you. You are a Ugandan, you are an American you. Yes. Ne accent ne we chu come somba. Yeah. Hmm? No tan ko kugero luzungu lwa r. It it doesn't change who you are. It's in you. The blood is in you. You are Ugandan. Ne ba kubuzo va wa. Mazima Yeah. even if you bleach no yeah. fuka wa yero no envidi ne zibirange za abazungu yeah at the end of that day osigala gwe nakakawa yeah <laughs> nakatude yes nakatude so yeah. so so what i am saying is that that your roots your roots will always remain yeah. your roots yeah whoever begat you will always be the one who begat you yes you will meet other people truthfully you meet people as you go along the journey of life yeah god will bring people to help you yeah. on different paths of your uh, life i i have another very hot question yes sir and you have to answer it in a few minutes because this one is a, is a bit difficult i thought i should bring it last because it is very hard <laughs> so i got born again in a cult church in a cult yeah oh wow yeah <laughs> but you got born again but i got born again in the cult yeah 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 because even even, even cults call altar call okay yeah. they do but for you it was real for me i don't know <laughs> yeah, yeah because the people who generally yeah. you, you're going to find in a cult yeah and for them they genuinely pursuing god yeah they don't know about the differences I agree. I agree. and the source of your power and whatever it is yeah. they don't know those those differences yeah So I got born again in a cult. Mm. That was my first pastor. Mm. That was my first man of God. Mm. Along the way God speaks to me. I realize I realize I'm not in in a good flow. Mm. So I walk away from there and mm. join the church that I feel is spirit led. Yes. So that context definitely kwango mutiye abadde abuza ngaga mantikati oli baba yanza ala mu moyo kwanga yambulire njiri. Nae yamzala moyene yamzala mumo in the lord remember what paul said eh, i begot you in the lord. lord actually the the very that word spiritual father in that context yes. they say father, father in the in lord, the lord. Yeah. so that means that even if maybe he made the altar call he's not necessarily your father in the lord because, because a wasn't. father in the lord must first of all be in the lord Tata wo wo moyo aina etsokera dala aina kuba mu Kristo. Yeah. So tata wo ataba mu Kristo. 
taso wa kubela tata wo uwo moyo ebe tube ebe tube bikadde so which means that yeah. if god now opens your eyes and and now you realize where you are it means that now you have to be begotten in the lord yeah. afresh that yes kubange yakuzala te ali mu yesu yeah so now you have to be begotten yeah. in the lord yeah the uh, can can god lead you to a father Oh yes, I believe he can. So can I be in this church and uh, Pastor Kasmant is preaching but he's not my father. But I attend this church and then God reveals to me my father. That means that you're not a member of House of Inspiration. You are a visitor. You're just attending. Mm. Or passer by without we see. So when God looks at the, at the members or at the at the tribe of house of inspiration tuli mchikecho kati abantu abajja wanga bavude walala ba bagenyi eh eh bagenyi bambi baba ze kuchala abasumba abataina church ngaba ina fellowship okay wale fellowship ataba sumba ba waka abayoto uh, uh, by nature to by nature to it is okay that dala it's mm. very important to understand ma no yo msumba te yagwa bugui waliwo yamzala eh and then also i think it comes back to the definition of what is a church uh-huh wala msumba bibuzo we being dey buze bidala Kanisa chechi eh wochinya nyoro bulunji otege kubanga kisoka nozo kuzali watakuli limited ku church eh eh nsoro kuzali wa omuntu wadde ngataina church na yinga asaje mukatonda ina ya the end of the day weta go musumba eh kubanga te eliye bifo binji nyo nga fellowships yes nga sima kanisa na yinga si kanisa eh nga bakunganya abantu abenzikiriza zonna all 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 eh, christian eh, baden ndagamba all saints ne kati kati <laughs> all christians eh non non denominational <laughs> non denominational Aba, abantu bagenda wao uh, ne ba fellowshiping okay na ye kati o oh, yogedde nsonge nkuru mm. ti omuntu alina kuba ne belonging ku kanisa yes je ba mumanyi ja atula yes. je ba muzala je ba muzala na ato lumu ebyanti bya bya chinyuma biga ne binyuma kati for example lunch hour Ngazinyo maye e, ya wali kugunde ku e, street ya gunde. Eh ngazinyo mu kusinga e waka. Je wazali bwana ye kitegeza chechu. Nti east or west home is best. Yeah. Nti mede ya waka ne bwa baba fu te bajite kambunzali. Esigala mede yachi ya waka. <laughs> Musumba. Uh, the truth is God always has an address for us. Yeah. There's a reason why he put tribes. Yeah. the tribe of Dan, right. the tribe of Levi, mm. the tribe of Gundi. So 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 God and, and, and when Jacob was about to die, he released a blessing upon each son. Mm. And we see that whatever he spoke into each son, onto each son is actually what the tribe became Be- eventually eventually yes. yeah. is what the tribe because each son represented a what a tribe, a tribe. yes and and and, and so buli muntu yazali wa mu israel had the belonging of a tribe yeah. if you were born in the tribe of levi you definitely knew your destiny yeah. you definitely knew that me i end up at the altar yeah. I'm a Levite. I'm a Levite. I serve in this the house of God. Are. Yes. Yeah. If you are born in the tribe of Judah, you know that the scepter never leaves the tribe. So kings and rulers came from the tribe. Yeah. No wonder Jesus had to come through the tribe of who? Of yeah. Judah. It's yeah. called the lion of the, the lion tribe of Judah. Yeah. of Judah. And that was predicted before time. By Jacob. Yeah. That is... the scepter will never leave. So, yeah. so, Mukama avaina echisa there's a grace oh my God. there's an anointing that he pours upon each tribe yeah so, so that the, there's a grace he pours upon a house of inspiration 
yeah. that regardless of how Pastor Charles looks like or talks like, waliwe chisecho, ntibuli mwana zari wa mnyumbe yo, they have to definitely operate in that grace. Yeah. Because they are born into that grace. Yeah. They are born into that anointing. They are they are they are, tr- they are of that tribe. Yeah. 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 You understand? Yeah. So 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 I don't care how powerful that fellowship in that city seems to be. That's a baby question. That we find kings yeah. born in the tribe of Judah it's trying not, to be Levites. And it's not by mis- it. and it's not by mistake that uh, that kings are born in there. That Kings are born from the tribe of Judah. Yeah. Oh, oh, you understand, Pastor? Yeah. So, so, ntimukama wakuteka mu, 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 let's say watoto, that there's a grace he has poured upon watoto, that whichever child is born from that house operates yeah. in that, in that yeah. grace. Yeah. And you know, in the spirit, angels understand this. Yeah. Yeah. In the spirit, even demons so, understand. So that means that there is a certain house yes. that you cannot receive certain things. No. Because they're not there. They are not there. And, and that if God wants to give them to you, he takes you to the house where they are. Where they are. Yeah. Because he sees, and let me tell you, the like, graces operating papa, in that papa, house papa, should be a pointer of where you're going. Mm. They are a sign of how God has called Shall you. They are a pointer, signposts. Zikulaga jogena. Nti musumba wo. Pastor yeah, Charles is a man of the nations. Yeah. Somehow, that should be something mm. that should flow out of you. Mm. Hey. Hey. House of inspiration. That, that is it. That you yeah. are a person of the nation. I don't care how powerful that fellowship appears. Yeah. That lunch hour appears. You, that is why children of God, you must know your tribe. Yeah. It's very important that every child of God, every believer knows their tribe. Yeah, tr- yeah, and pastor, yeah. I, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, as a pastor, I have learned to know those yeah. of my tribe. Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> Yes, Bobas. I can tell my tribe mates. When you meet, you feel that yes. baby is sleeping I in the I can a tell spirit. those that come from mm. my loins. Jesus. But Pastor Karomi, I think you're really my tribe. Because yes. the first time I saw you, I just got to this, is, this is my tribe. Hallelujah. <laughs> I believe so. Kubanga, yeah. you, you know them. You know to know what you catch Yeah, yeah. You know, we will somehow we speak the same language. Please yeah. open it work, but we speak the same language. Waliwo. Mm. Mm. And 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 those are the things I try to tell people that you will miss destiny because you don't know your tribe. Yeah, yeah. But the day you know your tribe, you know your I'm a people. Levite. My God. You know Levites eat from the altar. Yeah. You know that Levites feed. You on know, a certain menu. You know, one day, one day, one day, God told me that He never gave Levites any portion. Yes. In the land, because the land. God Himself was their portion. Was their portion. Was their portion. And and and, and he, he was comforting me, wow. not to be on pressure. Exactly. Whatever I need, Glory He will to give God. me. Glory. You understand? Because you're a Levite. Because I, I'm a Levite, and uh, and and God is my portion. My God. My umba, uh, my, uh, my umba, yeah, God to what? Glory to God. Glory to God. So it's very important for you to understand that day you understand your tribe. Yeah. Yeah. You will be content with the food your mama has cooked. Yeah. You will be content at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. And yet God has a reason why he's feeding you like that. Yeah. Because of where you're going. Because of where you're going. That 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 you are a warrior. Tagenda kute kamugundi. Soldiers feed on posho and beans. 
kakati guo uyagala kudia chipsi na KFC na cafe javas na yemu kama has wired it in you that yeah. you're a warrior that's right so there's a certain menu that you feed on oh, as a warrior e hacho vula kini walu oja kusange nyumba zoneze nja ulu different houses spiritually feed a certain menu yes truly nganga buli musumara imilira there are certain things you never fail to say because that is the dna of the house na yeno sanga mazima soldier ngali muku ya cafe jabaz kangubudi de bajja kuta if you find us you do understand pastor what i'm talking about that that there's a way the lord will bring you up yeah depending on where you're going depending on where you yeah. are going yeah. depending on how far he is taking you that there are menus he will feed you on Yeah. that there are people he will bring you under kubanga manyijo ulaga i always tell people that i don't think god chose david that this someone anointed him no no i believe he had already chosen him way back but he let him still be in the bush in the bush because your upbringing determines your destiny exactly what you mean you don't need to manage in gambula no boba mkama takuzisa a certain way mazima kati wali abantu nga mkama yachikola bwato okulene step mother okulile mu bugubi bwe butyo katonda akuza ambala eh hey. wanga jola ga wanene wanga jola ga wanene yes. so once you understand your tribe you will settle down yeah you will settle down and know so, god is preparing me that that going. really i think has been well answered settles the question you need to have a belonging somewhere in the house can we appreciate pastor karo everybody okay. mukazi wa katona tuyanziza nyo episode zino bili zotu zotu kolede zitwa do mukisa ah ilando oza anti na bantu bayize kubanga cha applying in areas na yeze ndoza okusingira dale nyonga tumaliliza ah omuweleza yenna kwanga duitwa tuli ku general purpose nayo omuweleza yenna agendo kuongera yenjili ya mkama fe yesu mazima ndoza topic eno nkulu nyo do not continue if you're not sure of your roots yes you break yes you break and no one is going to hold you yes get back to the roots you, you cannot be begotten in the gospel you cannot be got many people in the gospel without you, you being big begotten yeah gwani akuzala gwani oli mwana wa oli mwana wa ni what is your foundation my god what is your tribe who are you who are you can you identify yourself in christ mm. Ushakera. I mean, Oso loko okwe okwe identifying mo Kristo Yesu. Mm. So many people teach against spiritual fatherhood. And and you know you, you don't maybe maybe people have taken it the other way because we agree that some fathers have abused their yeah. authority. But just because some people have misused it doesn't negate it. Yeah doesn't actually cut it out. Yeah. You know, it's just like prophets. Just because um you know in the day and age that we live in some people have have, have taken the prophetic office out of order yeah. doesn't mean that the church does not need prophets. the pro- prophets. That's right. We will always need prophets regardless of how some have portrayed the prophetic office. Yeah. I mean, just because some musicians have become what they become doesn't mean we don't need musicians. Yeah. In the same way, just because some fathers have abused their offices yeah. does not mean you don't need a father. Yeah. You do need a father. Yeah. yeah. And I think and I think sometimes where we we pursue to look for fathers what we should actually look for are instructors yes because guardians and instructors are for a season for a season so gendo wo muntu yeah nanjigiriza chintu na nyamba ko na itata wo yabera permanent abera wo nje noza nebo manga mwayomba yes reconcile yes renew your relationship yes secondly i really feel like if you're a ministry if you're a church and you want to progress prosper increase it's important to tithe yes but the question is as a church yes where are you tithing not as people members i mean you as a church as a church you gather the money yes where do you tithe yes 
Wait to chive. Yes. I, I rest TV today mm. is existent mm. because of Pastor Chiwesi's obedience to tithe. To tithe. I can give an example. I think it was during 77, yeah. maybe the first phase. Yes. And Pastor Nyini Bono Wajui Zabuwa, of course, he regularly, he regularly tithes yes. uh, to, to, to Pastor Kayanja yes. all the time. Yeah. I mean, without fail. Yeah. I see him every, every yeah. day. Yeah. And he would take, you know, lots of money. And he will go kneel down at, at his power and influence now. Yes. Kumanyi gaina. Mm. Na afukamide wa tatawe. Mm. Na, wow. Na wow. Tazimu wanga imi, I've seen him, several, he's never stood up giving him his time. Wow. He kneels down. Wow. At his level. Wow. And if that is not a lesson for me, then nothing else I know. Yeah. True. But, during COVID-19, pastor na kuate motoka. Mm. Ya inavan jaya tuunda. Mm. Miyo njani zani anga makumia satu. Nga zitu, nga jituunda. Olumuto lwa jigula mkama na mgamba. Sikati ogena ziku hata. Mm. Ozituale wata hata o. Mm. Osige mu TV. Mm. Jeba kula. Ch- ch- mu channel 44. Mu channel 44. Pasa Isaac went and sold 30, about 40 million. In channel 44. And that's when God spoke to him. Rest TV. About, about Rest TV. And wow. it took, in fact it took that year. Wow. Somebody came and gave Pasa Chwewe say. 1.5 billion, wow. no, sorry, 1.5 million dollars, Glory which is 5.7 billion Uganda shillings Uganda. to begin a television Malo. worth of equipment. Malo. Now, if you are not fulfilling, if you are not saving in your bank, I will give money to spiritual fatherhood. That is how much you are so much, 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 so was ushered into the media yes. because of that, of that, of their father. Oh, submission. There's no competition. Yes, channel 44 is existent. Is existent. Rest Rest is here. existent. But the father ushered. Yes. Katolumu were depriving him to Inji. What do you mean to show Biaina? Biaina. Biaina. Which is again? Ngatuma lidiza. Njagalo la bolu njiru no masomba. Yesaka. Chichi chochi agalo gavida. Chayo gavida yakobo. Ah. Chata gaba bugabi buli jo. Chata gaba bugabi that he has to first ask for food. Exinga zetine wuni sabwe when he asked for food, and Isaac came. I thought he's going to look into the drawer. I'm going to be njaga kuwa kadagalaka kano mwana wangu kano kikanta mbuzi. The man spoke words. The blessing that was hidden yes was spoken was spoken, and it was in him. And it was in him. It was in the father. And and remember. It, 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 it stuck on him. Yeah. You shall, you shall see the dew of the morning. You will do this. You will do this. Jesus. And he has released his heart. And to the point that he no longer had. What is that thing? That, that he told Jacob, my it is Jesus, over. I don't Jesus, have it. My Jesus. People who are spiritual that are watching us, you need to understand hey. that, that spiritual things cannot be manipulated. They can't. They can't. And there are principles yes. that trigger them. It's so They are principles that trigger them. It's so that trigger them. What do you guess? My Lord. And did you have all the cigars you saw? Seko. Oh, it's just that. Now, what what damn food you cook? Gam. Now, yeah, what's the name you cook? Gam. And did you have all the Paul Yagambatia. For God who knew me before oh, I was in my mother's, mother's womb, womb, but by his grace called me. No one calling a yamu money. Yamu manyada. Yamu manyada. Nayo roku sas and etis. Anamu ita kati. So you don't know Chaman Chukuriko. Fena fena. Fena fena. Nothing is important. Charlie Chisa. Charlie Chisa. Kati sister. Kakana. <laughs> Funa was submitting. Mazima. Otherwise, you're going to put a magenda. Mazima. Ebe be muri debi gambo be tukuvu. Amen. Ebe yobu tuga simusanyo. Neto bagala nyo pasakaro. Thank you so much. Amen. Please speak a blessing over the people. Glory to God. Father, thank you for your sons and your daughters. We release the blessing upon your people that from henceforth you order their footsteps to their fathers. And those fathers that are vagabond, we rebuke the spirit of vagabondism in the name of Jesus Christ. May you find your address. May you find your roots to the glory and honor of God in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Amen. Your destiny truly matters. Amen. Christ is a formula. Have yourself a good night. Until next time. Amen.